I think art reflects life. We all get hammered and we all have to sit with our pieces and find a way to redefine what wholeness looks like and to make something beautiful out of the life that we have. So my name is Dr. Alexa Altman and I'm a clinical psychologist. Somebody actually showed me a bowl with these gorgeous golden seams running through it. And I had one of those like lightning bolt moments of like, what is that? What does it even mean? King Sugi. King is golden. Sugi is rejoining. This idea of golden rejoining, like bringing these different aspects of a fragmented part of ourselves together. The process when I sat down in Japan to learn the authentic way of repair is multi-step and multi-layered. The whole process from start to finish, we're talking about between 28 and 35 days, depending on the size of the piece. For me, part of the way I wanted to share Kintsugi was to be able to communicate it and, and make Kintsugi accessible. So we begin with the bowl. But the bowl in this practice represents, just like in 15th century Japan, some aspect of yourself. The second object is the cloth. So I think about the cloth as um, like the things that hold us. You know, it could be uh, a mother's love, right? It could be uh, faith, you know? For some people, the cloth is, um, you know, their own inner resilience, that part of them that's like, I've got to break this open because I'm not living an authentic life. So our next teacher is the hammer. And um, hammer, it's an instrument for change. It can destroy, but it's also used to build and bring things together. So we're gonna use the hammer as an object for change. And so we could think about in your own personal story or history, what are the hammers? What are the things that come and hit you and whacked you and opened you? I just feel around kind of noticing the brokenness without rushing in to fix it. This is the part we skip over. This is the part we want to clean up our mess really fast and hope nobody sees it. Immediately, the human impulse is to puzzle and fix. This is the part actually where this practice becomes about mindfulness, where I just want to invite you to just sit with the pieces. Don't rush in to fix it and just survey the pieces as they are. The glue is all about connection, the alchemy of the chemicals coming together to hold disparate pieces. So connection is the name of the game, not perfection. So healing happens in connection, not perfection. So we kind of wait and breathe and wait and breathe, and wait and breathe. So once the bowl is set and glued, then comes the filing. This isn't an effortful process. This is actually takes like a very soft filing, smoothing over the excess, what you don't need anymore. And so the holes and cracks that you'll see in your bowl 
can be representations of loss. It could be a space for new information to come in. Those cracks might be important parts of your story. Every bowl has a story to tell, just like every person has a story to tell. We're just telling it through this bowl, right? I say the gold is the glory. It's a celebration. The gold, it's not about a cover-up in any way. It's actually about a highlight. The gold is an opportunity to highlight the journey. I like to think about it like it's drawing a map, literally like a map of the story of what you went through or how you did this. I think art reflects life, that King Sugi is a reflection of what it means to be human. We all get hammered and we all have to sit with our pieces and find a way to redefine what wholeness looks like and to make something beautiful out of the life that we have. Mm -hmm.